The VAMP Adult System, Closed Needleless Blood Sampling. The innovative Edwards VAMP Adult System is the first generation of venous arterial blood management protection. The VAMP Adult System standardizes blood sampling techniques for consistency, accuracy, and safety you can depend on. The VAMP Adult System is available with or without an Edwards True Wave Disposable Pressure Transducer for a complete solution that protects clinicians from unnecessary exposure to blood, provides for patient safety, and protects your hospital's bottom line. Setup, priming, sampling, and flushing are quick and easy with the VAMP Adult System. The VAMP Adult Reservoir has a 5cc capacity that allows for ample clearing volume and can be used at the bedside, next to the patient, right where you need it. The self-sealing pre-slit non-latex Z-site sample port is designed to enable the collection of undiluted samples while greatly reducing residual blood buildup and reducing the chance of infection. The blunt cannula design provides safety during the process by eliminating accidental needle sticks associated with blood sampling. The direct draw system with blunt cannula provides an extra level of efficiency and convenience by enabling blood to be pulled directly into a vacuum tube. The Edwards VAMP family of closed blood sampling systems is designed to protect the patient and the clinician from complications associated with traditional sampling techniques. Traditional sampling risks in the critical care setting involve removal of the stopcock cap and storing so that the inside of the cap remains sterile, accessing the sample port, storing the cap, and connecting the waste syringe places the system's sterility at risk. Drawing the clearing volume involves the risk of an inconsistent amount of clearing volume drawn and the risk of diluted lab samples. Discarding the clearing volume wastes the patient's own blood, thus increasing the chance that the patient will require a transfusion. Connecting sample syringes to draw samples requires additional access that increases the risk of contamination at the port. Transferring a blood sample to a vial via a needle puts the clinician at risk for needle stick injury and bloodborne pathogen exposure. Flushing the port to clear residual blood also puts the clinician at risk for bloodborne pathogen exposure. Replacing the stored cap puts the system's sterility at risk for contamination of the cap or sample port. Now that you've been introduced to the VAMP adult system, let's start our in-service by setting it up. To begin, Remove the VAMP adult system from the package using an aseptic technique. All connections should be checked, secured, and tightened. Close the reservoir plunger and confirm it is in a locked position. Mount the VAMP adult system on the IV pole or simply set the reservoir on the bed next to the patient. Now that you have set up the VAMP adult system, Let's learn how to prepare and use the system. The first step is priming. To begin, first squeeze and hold the flexures to slightly raise the plunger to facilitate flow of the priming solution. Now, with the shutoff valve in the open position, which is parallel to the tubing, hold the sampling site above the VAMP reservoir at a 45 degree angle. Next, provide flow by pulling the flush device of the True Wave Disposable Pressure Transducer. Slowly deliver the priming solution to remove air. When the air is gone, close the plunger and ensure all air is removed from the system. Then connect to the patient's catheter. Once the system is primed, you are ready to draw the clearing volume. Note, depending on the procedure and policy of the hospital, a direct draw unit blood collection tubes, syringes, blood transfer unit, alcohol preps, and needleless cannula will be needed. First, firmly squeeze the flexures and slowly draw the reservoir open over three to five seconds. Then close the shutoff valve by turning the handle perpendicular to the tubing. This is to prevent aspiration of blood from the reservoir. You are now ready to draw the blood sample. To begin, 
Swab the VAMP needleless Z site sampling site with disinfectant such as alcohol or other antiseptic, depending upon hospital policy. Then push the cannula with the syringe or direct draw unit onto the sample site. Note, do not use a hypodermic needle through the sampling site. Now, put the vacuum tube into the direct draw unit. Repeat if necessary to complete the blood study requirements. After the last sample has been drawn, grasp the VAMP direct draw unit by the cannula and pull it straight out. Once you have the samples drawn, you need to reinfuse the blood and clear the line. To do this, open the shutoff valve by turning the handle parallel to the tubing. Next, over three to five seconds, smoothly and evenly push down on the plunger until the flexures lock in place in the fully closed position and all of the fluid has been reinfused into the line. Finally, flush the VAMP system clear by pulling the flush device on the True Wave transducer and swab the sampling site to ensure the removal of any excess blood left on the sampling port. Now that we have learned how to take a sample using the direct draw method, let us review the method of taking a sample using a syringe and blood transfer unit, or BTU. First, gently squeeze the reservoir plunger flexures together. Smoothly and evenly pull up on the reservoir plunger until the plunger stops and the reservoir has reached its 5 cc volume capacity. Once a clearing sample has been drawn, close the reservoir shutoff valve by turning the handle perpendicular to the tubing. This will further ensure that the sample drawn is from the patient and not the reservoir. Swab the VAMP needleless sampling site with disinfectant, such as alcohol or other antiseptic, depending upon hospital policy. Next, obtain an individually packaged VAMP needleless cannula and lure tip syringe. Using aseptic technique, peel open the cannula pouch. Pick up the cannula by the protective shield. Attach the cannula onto a selected lure tip syringe by aligning the cannula lure lock to the lure tip on the syringe and twisting until secure. Ensure that the syringe plunger is depressed to the bottom of the syringe barrel. Push the cannula into the VAMP needleless sampling site and then draw the required volume of blood into the syringe for sampling. Note, do not use a hypodermic needle through the sampling site. To remove the syringe cannula assembly from the sampling site, grasp the cannula and pull it straight out. Once the last sample has been drawn, open the shutoff valve by turning the handle 90 degrees so that it is parallel to the tubing. Smoothly and evenly push down on the plunger until the flexures lock in place in the fully closed position and all fluid has been reinfused into the line. The recommended time to push the reservoir plunger to the fully closed position is 3 to 5 seconds. The clearing sample should not remain in the reservoir for longer than 3 minutes. Flush the line clear and swab the sampling site, ensuring removal of any excess blood left on the sampling port. To transfer the blood sample from the syringe to vacuum tubes, use the blood transfer unit, or BTU. Using aseptic technique, peel open the pouch of the BTU. Ensure that all connections are tight. Hold the VAMP BTU in one hand and push the cannula on the filled sample syringe through the VAMP BTU needleless injection site. Insert the selected vacuum tube into the BTU's opening until the internal needle has punctured the rubber disc on the vacuum tube. Fill the vacuum tube to the desired volume. Repeat filling tubes according to the requirements for the patient's blood study. Discard the VAMP BTU after transferring the blood sample from the syringe into the vacuum tubes. Discard all syringes and cannula after use according to hospital policy. For over 40 years, Edwards Life Sciences has been helping you make proactive clinical decisions to advance the care of surgical and critical care patients. Through continuing collaboration with you, ongoing education, and our never-ending quest for advancement, Edwards develops solutions that provide the clarity to help you make proactive clinical decisions.